On August 23rd, we are launching a new course on Ephesians. I've been studying this letter from the Apostle Paul for many years, and I'm so excited to unpack for us a few nuggets as we walk together as disciples of Jesus in the everyday stuff of life. In Ephesians, the Apostle Paul, the great interpreter of the mind of Jesus, opens to us the wonders of Jesus' person, Jesus as the inexhaustible treasure house of glory, the very chandelier of heaven. He is absolutely stunning. We want to study him, behold him, fall crazy in love with him over these next 10 weeks together. Now, in this course, we're going to soak in the letter the Apostle Paul wrote from a prison cell in Rome, from a place of forced self-isolation to a young congregation in the first century city of Ephesus. It's located on the landmass we now call Turkey. Ephesians consists of only six chapters. It's 155 verses. It takes you about 20 minutes to read the whole thing out loud. Short and practical book for us today. Paul composed his letter, I think, in two parts, chapters 1 through 3 and chapters 4 through 6. We might consider the first half good news and the second half good advice. The first half, the wonder of grace. The second half, the walk of grace. The first half of the letter, the wonder of being alive in Christ. The second half of the walk of being alive in Christ. I want to just give you one nugget, maybe a taste and see of what we're going to study together in this course. As Paul shares in his opening verse, Ephesians 1.3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Every word in the worship vocabulary of the Bible has a particular nuance involving actions of the body. Bless involves the hands and the knees, and the Greek word for bless is used to translate the Hebrew word barach. And it's a word involving the posture of kneeling. So to bless is to bring a gift to another while kneeling out of respect. To bless means to come before another, go down on one's knees, uh, stretch out one's hands and offer a gift. So to bless God, therefore, means to come before his presence. We kneel in adoration and submission. We lift up our hands and we offer a gift. We offer the only gift we have to offer. It's the offer of our whole selves. Now, what's amazing is that Paul declares here, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Wow. Blessed us. We bless the God who has blessed us. God has come to us. He has knelt down before us, stretched out his hands to us, and given us a gift. I think it's a ton of gifts. (laughs) The living God has come to us in Jesus Christ. He's gotten down on his knees in Jesus Christ. The living God has opened up his hands and given us the gift of himself in Jesus. And with Jesus, he's given us everything else we need to be all God made us to be. Wow. I think what Paul is celebrating in this theme sentence really is the full implications of the benediction. He had heard all of his life as a Jew. God instructed the priest to say over the people, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace, give you shalom. It says next, so they shall invoke my name on the sons of Israel and I will bless them. May the Father come to you and I, get down on his knees before you and I, stretch out his hands to you with a gift. That's why he can keep you, because he has come close to you and stretched out his hands to take hold of you. Uh, Yahweh, make his face to shine on you, not from way above you, looking down on you, but right up in front of you. Yahweh, lift up his countenance on you. Since he's kneeling before you, he has to look up to see. The God we bless blesses us. The great and awesome God, the creator, he's come to us in his son, Jesus Christ, knelt down before us and given us the greatest gift he could ever give in his son, Jesus. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son and with him, every spiritual blessing. Uh, That's my heart for us for this class, that God will come 
as we bless him, he will bless us. I hope you can join us in this study of the letter of Ephesians together this coming August.